Hi folks, Dave here, AF5DN, and I want to talk to you really quickly about Ethernet cable wiring. Um, in the, another video I did here, I showed you how to take a blank Ethernet cable, Cat5, Cat5E, uh, Cat6, and put it on an RJ45 connector. Now you may see some other videos on YouTube that show the wiring pattern or the color coding slightly different from the one that I showed. And that is basically just a difference between the T568A and the T568B specification. Okay, what's the difference? Not much. Basically, <laughs> you can take the set of green wires and the set of orange wires and flip them interchangeably as long as you do it on both ends of the cable. So if you follow, if you put on a uh, 568A on one end, you got to put 568A on the other end. If you put B on one end, you got to put B on the other end, and vice versa. Now, uh, as far as functionality goes, there's no difference. The question then becomes, why do I personally prefer the uh, T568B consistency that's all I can say is consistency because here is a factory made uh, Ethernet cable wired as B here's another one come from the factory this way molded wired as B Here's another brand new one from the factory. Wired as B. Here's another one, B. Here's a heavy grade one. This one's got a metal jacket, B. So, when I go out there, and here's one that I, I made, and I put ends on my cables, I use B so that when you're out in the shop area or your office area or your home behind a cabinet or whatever it is consistent between the way I punch them down and the way the factories punch them down you can do it however which way you wish it doesn't really matter okay that's it for this video, and thanks for watching. Again, I'm Dave, AF5DN. Thank you very much.